Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back to Construct Your Life. First of all, before we even get started, biggest win of the year. This podcast has been rescheduled like six times Way with uh, times, Jimmy right. Jimmy, and Brian and I, my internet not working, me traveling. So super excited to have y'all here. We got Jimmy and Brian. So I'll let either one of y'all kind of start and, and tell a little bit about who you are and what you do, and we'll get going from there. Start us off, Brian. Yeah, thanks so much for having us, Austin. So I'm Brian Marks, I'm the CEO of Cloud Castles. And basically, at the end of the day, Cloud Castles is meant to lower the barrier of entry for anyone to own real estate anywhere. And that's our mission. We believe it's really the, the, the bridge to the American dream and, and owning real estate is so important to building generational wealth. Uh, fundamentally, we're a technology company and we pull investors together to buy real estate, specifically short-term rentals that uh, they can earn from uh, on a monthly income, you know, based on how much equity they have in the house. That's how much they get paid out every month. And then they also get a discount of staying there as well as the tax benefits uh, for owning real estate, which are very favorable in the US. We give a K-1 at the end of the year, but it's real simple. It's four clicks and you can own real estate uh, in a variety of states right now or in planning on going international next year. Yes, sir. And my name is Jimmy. I'm the COO of Cloud Castles, co-founder alongside Brian here. We've known each other since college, so we go way back and it's been a fun ride building up Cloud Castle over the last couple of years. So what what did uh, Jimmy? What did you do before this business? Yeah, so we we both come from the tech uh, world. So I was in, in in tech sales, and it's something where we use the principles uh, that we've learned from the tech space to try and make real estate better. Because we all know real estate is is not accessible for everyone right now. So as as Brian mentioned, our mission is to make this easier for people to get into the space. What's interesting about everybody I've interviewed that spent time in the tech space or spent time in Silicon Valley, there's a standard of energy and excitement, and I'm going to do anything that exists that no matter if they're 25 years removed, five years removed, three years removed, there's just a, we can do whatever we think we can do kind of mentality. Do you find that some of that rubbed off of you too, spending time in that tech space? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, oh, sorry. Yeah, you have to really um, kind of have an approach of, uh, you know, just you're going to be very flexible. It's basically agile development cycles is, is the, the okay. Challenge. Okay. Agile development cycles means you have like a two week sprint and you're basically reevaluating what you're doing over those two weeks, what's being successful, what's working, what's, you know, you have quarterly planning, but, you know, you, you want to be really nimble and move really quickly and, and be flexible. So it does, um, real estate's typically a little more old school in a lot of ways. So having some kind of a newer mentality and uh, there's some great books we can recommend, Peter Thiel, Zero to One or The Power of Habits or uh, Lean Startup is another one. Those are all really good books to take, kind of taking a tech approach to uh, things that maybe are a little bit more old school in like real estate. I read uh, Blitz Scaling and mm-hmm. I really kind of resonated yeah. with that book because I feel like it's exactly what we're doing. You know, we just we just launched nine companies and got $30 million worth of real estate and contract in a hundred days. You know, it's like, you know, but like that is all because like we're not like, yeah, we want to make sure that we're organized. Everything is, is helped on the back end. But it's like when you're in alignment and you know where you're going, it's like, bam, bam. And you can just get rolling. Mm-hmm. And like then we assess like every three months we sit back and assess. And so, you know, where did this idea of uh, Cloudcast, where did that come from? What, what, what like kind of was the genesis of this idea? Yeah, there's a few different um, threads there. Like um, my background, or my dad was a contractor for a bit. So I work up, uh, you know, kind of grew up doing construction. So it's always very important to me. But, um, I, you know, the idea of owning real estate, I think is just a wonderful thing to have. And I think it really does separate, um, you know, specifically the U.S. from a lot of other countries. You know, is it really you know, owning land in the U.S. is very fundamental to the, the foundation of the country. Like, And so, um, and, but that's kind of, you know, I'll get off my kind of a history soapbox. And I'll, the, the real uh, 
premise actually started with uh, timeshares. Someone explained timeshares to me in Florida. And I was like, that sounds like a very cool idea. You know, it makes a ton of sense. And then I actually looked at the numbers. I'm like, this is a, this is the biggest scam I think I've heard uh, ever. So um, we actually, you know, want to take the, the kind of the principles of, of co-sharing um, and make it a lot easier to do and make it basically where uh, it's four clicks and you can own real estate and take all the, the good out of the idea of, of co-sharing, uh, or co uh, basically fractionalized ownership and, and leave all the bad stuff. And the bad stuff would be like, you know, monthly payments, um, you know, not getting the appreciation of the property, um, you know, being like basically not deciding exactly when you can stay or, or basically having trade-offs when you can stay, um, that, that sort of thing. So uh, that's basically one of the, the, the main or major kind of like uh, reasons why we started the company is to compete with, frankly, kind of like uh, scammy real estate practices. Do you have anything to add there, Jim? No, it's, it's on the money. At the end of the day, we know that there's, there's an issue. Even if you could afford a timeshare, a lot of people unfortunately can't because the barrier to entry, if you're trying to buy your own real estate, you're spending anywhere from fifty dollars to $100,000 minimum just for one property. And unfortunately, most people can't afford that. So that's why, to Brian's point about fractionalizing ownership, as we call them snackable shares here at Cloud Castles, that's where we help more people get into this space so you can build your wealth through real estate. Yeah, and it's funny, right? You, 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 you talk to enough people, you travel around, you know, I guess when you're in our seat, like, and when there's education, I read a lot, like it feels like this stuff is so readily available. But when you realize like the fractional ownership, whether that be a company or, or a fractional CMO or fractional real estate, is kind of, I know it's not a new term, but it's newer. And, and I think that when you allow to open up a space or a sector to more and more people, I only think you're going to get positive stuff from that because more ideas, more people are going to be open to it. They're going to share with a friend, so on and so on. And you allow yourself a space where, you know, one of the things I think that's really frustrating for me that I'm trying to bring back, it's like my slogan is like, we've, we've like really, we really talk crap on like uh, passive income, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like, Dude, like you can like what I, I have a great friend, good friend in LA. He's like a surgeon. He makes like a ton of money per year. And he like went out and he like, cause he read the books and everybody told him he was supposed to be a flipper. And I'm like, you make like 5 million a year. What the hell are you doing right. flipping houses? Right. And he was like, well, that's what they told me to do. And I'm like, uh, no. And so boom, he switched his mindset and he's in like, uh, 500 units, like boom, just like that. And it's like, He's like, wow, this is so much more pleasurable. I could still be a dad. And so I, I think this is why this, this, this idea is so intriguing because they can be, you know, w- what do they say about boats, you know, you, you know, and planes, you know, just rent them, you know, it's like That's kind of it. the same thing. It's like, you don't want to fix the AC. You don't want to worry about the guests. You don't want to have to worry about all these things. And this is why this is such an amazing idea. Have you seen that from the people that have been invested with y'all? They, they kind of feel the same way. Oh, yeah. And and we don't have to go down the rabbit hole of real estate gurus because we could probably spend days talking about all of the terrible advice. (laughs) (laughs) Right. But we definitely see people who come to us and and say, I tried it this way, doing it myself. This is an entirely another job. I already have a W-2. I don't have time to to do all that it takes to really get a short term rental off the ground. So that's where we come in and we do all of the headaches around managing the property so you can just sleep and collect profits whenever there are some. Yeah, we just want our users to do the fun part, which is basically collect the money, uh, stay there when it's convenient for them. And then uh, maybe have, you know, have some saying like, you know, do you actually want to heat a pool or not? Do you want the additional like offerings? Do you want to build a pergola? Do you want to like maybe spend a little more money and get maybe potentially a higher investment? And kind of more of the fun stuff is what we want our investors to, to focus on and, and really kind of shed away from the headache. And, and that's kind of Jimmy and I's job to take care of that. Wonderful. Yeah. I didn't know that part about, that's pretty cool. Like, do you want a heated pool? Do you want a pergola? Like, so are you doing value ads? Are you buying turnkey properties? Like, are you doing all of it? Like asset class, just kind of covering it all? Definitely value ads. And and as Brian mentioned with the contractor background, I, we've had a, a lot of fun projects for our initial properties. So whether it's Tahoe with uh, converting the garage or Miami with adding the pergola and pool, or Disney with all the craziness that we're, we're adding to that house. We, we know that most of the time it's not a listed and they will come solution in the short-term rental space. 
So you have to have, have those value adds to exceed whatever comps are in your area and produce the returns you're looking for. Yeah. And then we also just, I mean, you just make more money, frankly, uh, for our investors. If you uh, do more renovations, like if you buy a turnkey property, you're, you're frankly, you know, there's a shortage of single family homes. We mostly do single family homes in the U S I think it's around 5 million uh, in the U S right now. Um, and so by us taking like a turnkey property, you know, we are taking that from another single family and we don't want to do that. We want more people to own real estate. We want to focus on uh, markets that are mostly second homes. And we really want to focus on places where we can like turn like maybe the worst house into the neighborhood into one of the best houses in the neighborhood. So, uh, example there is Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We bought this this cool little house uh, in Smoky Mountains. You guys haven't been there; it's a great place. Um, and you know the, the house was beat up. It was like you know holes, in, like you could <laughs> you could sneak out of the house through like the living room kind of thing. You know, like the roof was falling apart and um, the floors. I think there was probably like somewhere between ten and twenty dogs living in the house at certain times. Uh, so it smelled really bad. And so anyway, we renovated the house. You can take a look at it on the app right now. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it sold out very quickly. But we actually were able to do a, a, a Burr strategy on that. So we were basically able to pull all of our cash out for our investors. So they got all their money back. And then we're basically, you know, just riding sky high on the returns there. Uh, and the property came out really well and uh, has a little movie theater right now, a hot tub. Uh, we're building a pergola and a fence in the backyard based on kind of that conversation we have with our investors. Um, and so it's been a great experience for everyone. And so basically, if I'm understanding correctly, I just, uh, so I'm a client. Let's just call me a client. Uh, and I want to get invested with you. Y'all are handling, you have internal management as well too, and the value add. So it's really, you know, maybe you're not buying turnkey, but it's a turnkey solution for me as an investor. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's okay. it. And, and, what's know, a and what's a typical, what's a typical return? What size investments do y'all like to take in? Stuff like that. Like what is there a minimum? Yeah, we're, we shoot for double digit returns. So even with, the extra fees that, of course, we have to charge as, as being the managers of these properties. At the end of the day, we're still going to try and shoot for double digit returns for our investor base. Now, we have different options. So we have the retail side. Where you don't even need to talk to us. This isn't like a terrible timeshare where you have to sit through an hour long presentation just to get that free vacation. You can download our app on the Google Play Store or the App Store right now and invest in properties that we have available. Or we have a, a more a white glove service, as we like to call it, for our alpha investor program, where we can go in as joint venture partners with you in a market of your choice. So it really just depends on, on where you are in terms of your, uh, your liquidity and what capital you have to bring to the table. But we work with all sides of investors. And, you know, I think the biggest thing for me, and I, I try to tell everybody this, like, I still have PTSD. Nobody's allowed to let the noise of the Airbnb booking thing come through their phone. Cause I'll like jump down on the ground and start crying because at scale, I was getting 130 messages a day. And what we did is my partner, cause he's kind of a, a perfectionist and an organization guy. He, he tracked how many hours and minutes in a month that he was using talking to the guests. And, and it was like alarming. And it's like, Dude, everybody and their mother wants to get into Airbnb, and I respect that, and I'm happy to educate you on it. But if you don't set up your business the right way, man, it can consume you. And what I try to tell everybody is when you go from like three or four to like seven or 10 or 12, it's not like you're jumping seven single families. It's like you're launching up to like 30 properties. And if you don't have an experienced crew like you or, or somebody else, you're, you're really going to feel the pain. <laughs> Hundred I mean, percent. That to your point, you have to have systems that are set up throughout the entire stage, right? So from closing to renovations to managing the property once it's live, if you don't have systems, then you are going to be that person that has an entirely second job that you're doing, where you could take away hours in just setting up systems right from the start. So we we utilize popular platforms like Guesty. Uh, for property management system. And we have some internal tools we've built as well, but we make sure to stay on top of our properties here. 
Yeah. And one, one other value that we have Austin besides, you know, kind of just being the property management system for them is, is basically uh, diversifying their investments. Like, let's say you're like, Hey, I'm going to go, I want to get an Airbnb started. Guess what? The price that I can get Airbnb started is probably, you know, anywhere from minimum 75, you can do it by 75 K great, you know, kudos to you, but it's going to be closer to 150, 200 K, especially if you want to make a uh, higher return. So um, what we can do, you know, so you might spend 200 K, you might try to get a property all set up and then, you know, maybe there's a storm in Miami, maybe there's a fire in Tahoe, maybe there's this, that, and then you lose a lot of your, your potential revenue, maybe all your profit for that year. What you could do, what we like to do with our investors is really diversify for them. So we take that same amount of money that they'd, they'd want to invest to get one Airbnb going and they spread it out around five properties and maybe three or four states or really across the country where, uh, you know, you're really hedging your bets here on which market's going to do better over the long term, have better appreciation um, and, and better like uh everything across the board, just uh, diversifying your portfolio. I uh, couldn't agree more. So anybody that's out there that's listening to this, that's thinking about getting an Airbnb or they're already in Airbnb or whatever, uh, Brian, I'll start with you. If you could give them some some tips, even if they're not working with you, what would be uh, a huge benefit for them to either get Airbnb started or, or scale up their business? Got it. Well, I would definitely, the first tip I would say was, is work with us. Uh, I just have to say that. <laughs> oh, ABC, ABC. ABC. I love it. I love I it. Always be I want to be an honest, uh, honest interviewee here. And I would say work with us because Jimmy and I work for free. So I don't think you're going to get a better deal out there. We, we basically are volunteers at this point because our goal is to scale the company. And so we want all investors to have an amazing experience. And part of that is working for free. So Jimmy and I do work for free right now. Um, but if you're not working with us and you want to scale up your business, I would say, um, you know, choose an area that you really love. I think that's important. Like don't just go necessarily for someplace that, Oh, it's, I saw read an article as the best returns or right? go a place that you love, because if you actually love it and you really want to spend time there and you're, you're actually going to put sweat, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, and maybe spend a summer building something out, or maybe have to go there for some emergency, you want it to kind of be in an area you like. So I would definitely recommend um, that first and foremost. Um, another thing I would probably say is, uh, you know, try to DIY it as much as you can. Uh, you know, it really, there's, you know, you're, listeners out there are very capable people, I'm sure across the board, and you can take care of everything that you need to do. We try to take a DIY approach and it saves us a ton of money and to really across the board, or you meet some great folks and some great contractors. And guess what? Those contractors, they will respect you a lot more and want to work with you if you actually put the work in yourself, or if you're actually doing the work side by side with them. A lot of the contractors we do kind of work side by side with them, really hands-on and they really appreciate it. They really love the that approach in a, in a lot of ways, assuming you have a good relationship with them. 100%. I love it. Jimmy? All right. So if you're starting, haven't gotten to Airbnb, you want to do this on your own, high level, search for regulations. I can't tell you how many people skip this basic step and then realize after they bought the property, this is an illegal Airbnb. So it's just a quick Google search, city, short-term rental laws. Just do that. Takes all of 30 seconds. From there, make sure you got to great handyman and local cleaning crew because they're going to be lifeblood of your business. And if you don't get that right the first time, do not worry. There's no magic. Uh, there's no magic formula here. Just hire a new one and don't be afraid to fire quickly because if they do wrong, it's going to affect your ratings, which will affect your rankings, which will affect your money. So make sure you have a great handyman and cleaning crew. And then of course, as we talked about earlier, get systems in place. So we utilize pricing tools. We utilize uh, the property management system and Guessy. So just make sure you're not trying to do everything on your own. Now, as you scale up, biggest thing I'll say there is find partners. Because at the end of the day, I think the phrase is, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together, right? And that's no different than what we do at Cloud Castles and probably no different than what you do, Austin, is if you find great strategic partners, who see that you know what you're doing in the space, you can build a lot quicker than if you're just waiting for the cash flow from your own properties to get the next one. So those would be my, my two uh, pieces of advice here. 90% of the, the money guys that we meet that invest in our deals had already done Airbnb by themselves and they are officially out. <laughs> That's it, <laughs> they're like, right? they're like love, the, love the returns, don't love the operations. We're good. We're going to find you know partners and. It, on your point about regulations, I cannot tell you how many people have bought and then county clerk's office, county clerk's office, county clerk's office. Just ask them what the things mm -hmm. are. 
uh, you know, as long as the thing's not crazy and you can get a license, like do it. That's why we stick to certain states, certain areas, uh, because I'd rather pay more uh, than do that. And I think one of the biggest things that I would suggest, something that's not talked about enough, is understand human psychology. You know, understand that um, the, the tenant or the guest may not actually be upset. It just might be a really long day of traveling with most, you know, with kids and they haven't mm-hmm. eaten. And so don't take to offense, like really ask them, like, are you okay? Is there anything I could support you? I'm sorry that you feel this way about the place. Don't react because all you're going to do is spark them to react to. And that's something that's not talked about enough in the Airbnb space. I've learned that the hard way. So I 100% can get behind what you're saying. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so if people want to find out more about you, they want to sign up, they want to invest, they want to, they want to reach out to you. How would they do that? A couple of different ways. So we got our, our website, cloudcastles.io. We have our app, as we mentioned earlier, just search for cloud castles on the app store, or the Google play store. And then we, as Brian mentioned, we're, we're still in the early stages here. So you can still talk to the founders. So my, my email is Jimmy at cloudcastles.io. If anybody wants to, to reach out and have f- follow-up questions. Awesome. Well, guys, I can't thank you enough. I love what you're doing. Uh, if we get out to the West Coast in that area, we're definitely going to hit y'all up. And uh, thank you so much for bringing value to the for, for the listeners today. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much, Thanks for Austin. Us. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.